Let us understand the business of the internet commercialization. In order to understand this particular topic, first of all, let us understand what a network is. A network is nothing but an interconnection between two or more devices. Such devices may be desktops, laptops, printers, scanners, and other such devices. So, a network is nothing but an interconnection between two or more devices. However, such an interconnection may be either wired connection or wireless connection. That is, two devices may be connected with wires or without wires. For example, if we connect a mobile device with a laptop or a desktop, uh, we can use data cable. When we make use of a data cable, there lies a wire between mobile device and a desktop or laptop. Then it is known as wired connectivity. Similarly, if we connect the mobile device with a desktop or a laptop using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, then there lies wireless connectivity. So, the devices may have either wired connection or wireless connection, but still there lies an interconnection. That is the reason why it is known as a network. So, a network is nothing but an interconnection between two or more devices. What is the advantage of a network? Suppose that there are five systems. If we want to take a printout from any one of these systems, one option is we need to have uh, five printers. That is, when there are n number of standalone systems, we require n number of peripherals like printers or scanners. Otherwise, we need to move uh, you know, the devices like printers or scanners from one device to another device. Instead, the best option is creating a network. If we see here, all the devices are connected together forming what is known as a network. So, there lies an interconnection among all these devices forms what is known as a network. Then, one single printer or one single scanner is sufficient which can serve all the devices. So, this is the biggest advantage of a network. So, the major advantage of a network is resource sharing. Now, let us understand what does it mean, the internet. The internet is nothing but a worldwide network that connects all the devices and the networks across the globe. So, there may be millions of networks. Each system may contain hundreds or thousands of uh, devices. Still, when all these networks are connected together across the globe, it forms one jumbo network as such a gigantic network is considered as the internet. So, the internet is nothing but a network of networks that is millions of personal, private, public and academic networks across the globe are connected together forming what is known as the internet. So, such internet can be visualized like this. There is a network and it is connected to another one. In turn, it is connected to another one. In this way, uh, several networks are connected together across the globe, forming what is known as the Internet. Now, let us understand the business of the Internet commercialization. So, now we understood that Internet is a global network and such Internet is going, undergoing a major a paradigm shift. The factors for such paradigm shift are due to emergence of commercial models. 
business organizations are seeking and embracing such business opportunities the commercialization of the internet refers to managing or running online services principally for financial gain so business organizations are very much eager in order to make use of the opportunity due to emergence of various commercial models and you know by making use of all such commercial models business organizations want to make the money such commercialization of the internet has taken place in two spheres let us understand both of them first one it is the commercialization of internet users so what are all the things because of which the commercialization of uh, internet users happened there are several things let us uh, look at uh, some of them first one it is uh, online discussion forums where people can exchange their ideas or opinions that started very long back later the download of required information we all know that the internet consists of enormous amount of information and internet is allowing us to download such uh, wealth of information next people started sharing messages in the form of uh, emails so emails are nothing but uh, sending messages uh, electronically that is what is known as an email with which people started exchanging the information a uh, textual format audios videos images so in this way e- email attachments so uh, multimedia can be shared uh, in the form of uh, emails similarly uh, dial up internet connections nowadays we all are getting uh, internet connectivity uh, round the clock however initially Uh, a service that is known as a dial up internet connectivity at the, in which people get connected to the internet only when they require internet connectivity after getting their job done they get disconnected from the internet because at that time uh, internet charges were very high that is the reason why uh, people get uh, internet connectivity only when there is a necessity and uh, several business organizations have uh, provided such dial up internet uh, connectivity and uh, they made the money and similarly various uh, security uh, protocols were permitted in order to transfer uh, card information that is either credit card or debit card information can be uh transferred very securely using various uh, secure protocols so that is about uh, the commercialization of internet users let us move on to next one that is the commercialization of uh, internet service providers first of all let us understand who are these internet service providers internet penetration is increasing in fact the global population is uh, increasing and at the same time internet penetration is also increasing that is every day more and more people are getting uh, um, uh, connections or uh, intended to take connections uh, for internet so as more and more people uh, get connected to the internet uh, to serve these people uh, an entirely new industry called the internet service providers has emerged so the main business of these internet service providers is as the name itself indicates they provide internet connectivity to the individuals or business organizations and there are several internet service providers who provide the access to different types of internet applications and 
resources for both business organizations and also to individuals and there are four types of internet service providers let us look at these four types of internet service providers first one it is telcos and cable operators telcos means telecom companies if we look at a country like india there are telecom companies like bsnl or airtel or reliance so these are all major telecom companies similarly cable operators Uh, there are uh, hathway fiber act fiber airtel fiber geo fiber so these are all the people who are uh, cable operators so these are all the organizations uh, which which act as uh, internet uh, service providers so all these organizations provide connectivity Uh, over long distances with the greater data transfer rates so their data transfer rate is very very high because um, most of them make use of latest technologies like uh, optical fiber cables so they maintain state of the art infrastructure in order to provide better service to people and uh, in fact some of them even maintain undersea cables and overland cables also uh, all these things certainly require a very hefty investments so all these organizations require a very financial uh, soundness in order to uh, maintain such a state of the art infrastructure and the second one is national independence these are the internet service providers who provide internet connectivity across one nation so as the name itself indicates national independence they provide internet service uh, um, connectivity uh, across the nation then comes the third uh, type of internet service providers is regional isps that is uh, they provide Uh, the internet service across one state or maybe several states uh, so that is what is the role of a regional internet service providers so they provide internet connectivity across one state or multiple states and the last one is the local isps as the name itself indicates they are their area of working is very much limited they provide the internet uh, uh, connectivity across one city or a maximum one district so they provide internet connectivity in a very small limited area let us uh, uh, depict all these things in the following picture so here if you see national internet service providers as the name itself indicates they provide the internet connectivity across the nation and uh, to which um, there may be several uh, regional isps uh, get connected to so regional uh, so internet service providers uh, provide internet uh, connectivity uh, in one state or maybe multiple uh, states uh, to whom uh, uh, local internet service providers get connected to so several uh, local isps uh, uh, take the internet connectivity from regional internet service providers and they provide internet connectivity across one district or maybe a city so finally Uh, several homes millions of homes or business organizations uh, they take generally the internet connectivity from local internet service providers however one important point here is some business organizations especially it related that is uh, software companies such kind of organizations which require very high bandwidth 
that is greater data transfer rates so probably they may get a direct connection from regional isps or national isps so this is about the business of internet commercialization